Yeah, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Rokakodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Now I want to get into this uh, video here. This fucking freak. Look what she's doing, man. I don't even want to play the volume. I just want to play this. You know who that is right there. Drunk as hell, too. You know? Drunk as hell, man. You know what I mean? Craziness, man. This is what she's up to. This this is uh what's her name? Brittany Renner or whatever whatever her name is. That shit is not wife material, okay? Not wife material. I mean, I mean, I want you got you you got to go see that interview. You go watch it yourself. I mean, it's at this point it's already clear, you know. But seeing that over again, man, I just want to um, you know, go into this because these girls really actually think that they're, you know, because they can have a baby, that they're wife material. You know, when it goes into Titus, it tells you about what the woman should be doing, okay? But I'm going to hit this up real fast. So I ain't even going. Oh, I've been hitting this scripture tonight, like, in the last two videos this came up, man. Yep, the wine of women, okay, will make men of, under, uh, you know, understand to fall away, okay? You can't have that type of um, woman in your pres in your presence, thinking that you're gonna, um, you know, endure on to the end or in old age together. That bitch is a whore. She's for the streets. You can clearly see that. That type of shit right there is not wifey material, man. Okay. And any of you youngins coming up seeing that, thinking that, oh, that's all right. She was young, you know. Well. Look at it this way, man. After like 3,000 people done been in a woman, where is this man's, where is her new husband's glory to walk around and say, look, this is my wife. Ain't no man's been in up her. You know what I mean? I've been the first one to tag her. You know what I'm saying? When you have a used car, ain't nobody running up with a used, I don't even care if it's a Mercedes the newest one. If you got a Bugatti, Ferrari, any one of them things, and they're all dented up, one brother got a new one, and you got one that's been used or resold like 600 times, and you get into that bitch, and it's got burn marks all over the seat, and the handle's kind of fucked up, and, you know, there's a certain clank when you, when you go over a bump, you hear clink from the back of the car. That bitch ain't driving smooth. Now... That's nothing to show off. Not even to, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, in this world, you know, you know what I'm saying. You pull up to, to an event, a classy event, and the car's got scratches all over the side. It's still got things from the uh, scrapyard with the circle on it telling you, got, oh, yeah, you got to fix this dent, you know? It might have a couple dings in the, or, or maybe even a crack across the fucking, the, from the window. Gas tank thing got open in a certain way, or it might drop off. There ain't nothing to. You trying to oppress a girl and you show up in that, you got to show up in a new one, not 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 the one that's been used five hundred times. So a girl that has been gone ran through, over five six hundred times. Okay. Who's gonna want her? All right. Nobody's gonna want her. She's just a brand new second hand gal. Nobody want that. So going into this, you know, this gal here, nobody, this is not wife material, man. It's not hard to see. Yeah, going back, I just went into this earlier well, as well. Sirach chapter uh, 27 and verse 3, unless a man hold himself diligent in the fear of the Lord, his house shall be soon overthrown. Yeah, you got fear, you how about Shimei Ashai, not to get these skeezes on you. Okay? Not to pick up on these, these, uh, these hoes, okay? 
You got to have the fear of your how about Shimei Hoshai. Because if you don't got that knowledge, that wisdom, that understanding, and what we, how we present it to you, you know, not even just that, the words of your how about Shimei Hoshai, you're going to pick up on these skeezers. And your whole life is going to be ruined. Okay? Your whole life is going to be ruined. Literally. This is why we tell you, young man, watch out for these type of action. Watch out for these 304s, 30 0s whatever you want to call them. Whatever they're called nowadays, man. So you have to have the fear of the Lord on you to, to recognize these things. And a lot of you young cats, you don't have the fear of the Lord on you. That's why you always fall into fucking problems like this. Okay? So Iraq chapter 22 and verse 4. A wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her husband, but she that leaveth dishonesty, but she that, but she that, but she that liveth dishonestly, is her father's heaviness. Exactly. Now one is going to be, you know, this bitch right here. She she definitely did living dishonestly. Okay. And, a, and a, a proper wife, she would leave. She would, uh, you know, bring bring forth child for him. You know what I mean? Also, on top of that, going back, <coughs> going back to Titus chapter one. This woman can show her daughter and her sons, you know, how to live properly. What what you should do. You know what I mean? Keep yourself clean. You know how to keep the household clean. How to live. How to cook. How to do these things, okay? That bringeth a man happiness. That bringeth a man joy because now he knows that his daughter, you know, his wife ain't trying to teach his daughter no wayward things. And she's being brought up right. And when she goes out into society, he's not going to have a heaviness or grief upon him because now his daughter is a town hoe, okay? And shit, apples don't fall far from the tree. Think about it, okay? She might have she might have a little more tendencies than you know, and her upbringing by her mother might not be right. That's why the mother also has to be right. The father and the mother they also they have to use this righteousness, which is this word here, okay, to be guided in life. So that the mother ain't right. Well, what makes you think that the daughter isn't really going to grow up right? Okay? That the mother's off. What makes you think that the daughter is not going to be off? The daughter is going to be off. The daughter is going to be just as, as, as psychotic as the mother. Okay? Because the daughter, when the father leaves, he leaves and goes to work. Right? When he leaves and goes to work now, he, he leaves, he goes to work. Next thing you know, Who's there to uh, guide the household? The the mother is there to guide the household, okay? Meaning, when the father leaves, right? When the father leaves, the mother's, you know, job is to watch over, feed the kids, watch over the household. Now, what kind of shit is she teaching the daughter? That the daughter's going out there in a whore, you know what I mean? So, it's a grief on to you, Right? So she, you know, the mother in toll, she has to be right, okay? And like I said, that shit right there is not wife material, you know? Brittany, whatever the fuck her name is, man. But this is why the curses are in full effect, okay? Hmm. Hosea 4 and uh, 16 For Israel slideth back As a backsliding heifer Now Yahweh will feed them As a lamb In a large place Now going back into this Yeah I wanted to get uh, 14 Actually I wanted 14 Salakia I will punish I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, 
nor your spouses when they commit adultery for them themselves for them themselves are separate with whores and they sacrifice with harlots therefore the people that do it not understand shall fall okay and what's going on a lot of times too these women are out there committing a lot of these acts but guess what the lord is turning his hand is turning okay this whole thing's turning another direction now. The wrath of the Lord is starting to Yahweh Shimei is starting to rise on these people. Okay? Because we've been out there giving them guidance on what they should be doing. Romans ten, chapter eighteen. You know. We've been out there giving them guidance, starting with our apostle elders, I must say. And their elders before them, right? And the Lord gives you that mercy times, gives you that door, to, you know, time to clean up your act. So right now, yeah, they, they had their years of where they were running around committing whoredom, you know, committing adultery on their husbands, right? And even to their God, right? But Yahweh is turning, turning the tide now, per se. Turning of the tables, okay? And now these women are starting to be put to death left, right, and center, man. A lot of these games that these women are playing... Who's uh you know these women whose hands are are sneers and bands and traps right? The Lord is starting to cut them bands. The Lord is starting to put a little pepper on their tongue. You would never see back in the day um women have to pay child support. That's like kind of crazy. Even if they're rich, they still get half the house and the kids. But shit's turning, okay. You you wanted so much equal rights, that shit's turning. There you go. Okay? You wanted to be equal so bad, but well, there you go. Alright? Let me get into the next scripture. We'll close out. Oh, fuck, yeah, this is the one. First Ezra, chapter 4. Mm, 22. 22, yeah, 22. First Ezra chapter 4 and 22. By this also we must know that women have dominion, dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Yeah, these guys are all their minds. Okay? They go, you know, work their ass off, come back. Yeah, baby, here you go. You know, I got I to, gotta, you know, I got to bust a 12-hour shift overnight. Just to get this woman some flowers on Friday. And, you know, a bunch of these guys are simps, man. Because they've been raised with the Queen of Heaven worship, you know. Verse 23, yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to to sail upon the seas and upon, the riv upon rivers, and looketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness. And when he have stolen spoiled and robbed he bringeth it to his love his woman okay wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother yea many there be that have run out of their wits for women's wits for women salakia and become servants for their sake yeah we ain't doing that okay and it also tells you too you know, hey, you got people like Tupac and all the rest of them that used to sing songs about this, okay? And what what's the next one here? Many also have perished, perished, have erred and sinned for women, right? And we ain't going down that route because we know, hey, man, we're the rulers. We're, we're on top, okay? You're a servant all to us, Genesis 3 and 16. I'm not fucking going through a, a forest and all this shit and battling and slashing down. and No. You crazy? You think you got a golden box? Crazy. Get the fuck out of here, yo. Just to get a piece of that snatch, that, that golden box. Huh? And that golden box been ran through by, by, by hundreds of men. Okay? Going back to the Ferrari that got dents on it and the Mercedes, doesn't matter what. Man, when I pull up, I want to pull up in something new, like they say. 
What you, you want a used sword, a used gun, a used car? What the hell's wrong with you? You know? Nobody want that. Send that back to the factory. Melt it back down. Okay? No. Somebody comes up to you and goes, well, here's some used food. Nobody. I want my shit brand new. Okay? Here's some used Nikes. No, 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 no. That's all right. Used underwear? No, no, no. No. You can, you can keep that. Stay there. Okay? Now, going back into this, you know, these men will go through any any type of, um, you know, for these type of whores, man. They'll go through all of that just to bring this whore some, 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 some. You know what I'm saying? And she's not worth it. She's been ran through. And now, do we not believe me? Is it not the king great in his power? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? Yet did I see him and Apam, Apam, the king's concubine, the daughter of Admiral Barticus, sitting at the right hand of the king and taking the crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head, she also struck the king with her left hand, <laughs> and yet for all this the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also, but if she took away any displeasure at him, the king was fain and flattered that she might be reconciled to him again. Man, what the hell? A king? Man, that put niggas to death. Put him to death. Put that one to death. Regents fear him. But yet this little damsel is sitting beside him and slapping him up and gawking him and taking his crown and just being a drunk, spoiled brat, as they would say, right? Man, that could get any man. See, a sassy black woman would do that shit. Slapping them all in the face. I'm the one with the power here. My golden box, right? That thousands of men don't run through. Right? Fools. Verse 37. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children or men are wicked. And such are all their wicked works. And there is no truth in them. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. Right. And going back to that, that bitch there. This is her. This is this is her. These last this this from twenty ninth to thirty one. This is her, man. Look, look, this is her. You can imagine her doing this. <laughs> Slap the king, taking his crown, putting it on. Man, you want some of my golden box? <laughs> yep, sticking out the tongue. Look at her. Look, look at her carefully. That's her. That's her. She was slapping the king up. That's her. Okay. You know who I am. You know who I am. This is that type of spirit, man. <laughs> Yo, this is that type of spirit. This is that type of spirit, Akim. It's her right here, man. Look at her. Whore do what a whore do, man. I don't know. I think there's a... I don't know who was recording, but I took off the voice because I didn't want, you know, get a, a copyright strike. They're sneaky like that. And they probably going to slap this down, you know. Probably say it's something, something uh, too, too, too true, you know. <laughs> but anyways, with that Akim, you know, these women... Like I said, they, you know, women are wicked, man. The scripture just <laughs> just told us, you know. Wick, wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, man, you know, don't lose your thumb for none of these bitches, man. Don't lose your wits for none of these bitches. Because you 
are supposed to be the rule. You're supposed to be the head of the household, okay? Bottom line, she don't like that, well, there's the door. You know what I mean? Because we're not going by this, this modern-day philosophy. We're going to stick by the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, meditate upon his words, and Lord will that he execute, you know, judgment you know, let us execute judgment properly, you know, when it comes into a walk of life, okay? And in hopes that, you know, what does it say? A, 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 wicked, woman, a wicked woman is given to, a, a portion of a wicked woman is given to a wicked man or something like that. Can't remember the scripture, but if any of you all can remember, put it down in the uh, comment board. But yeah, man, that, that goes into it, man. You know, that bitch ain't wife material, man. She's garbage, garbo. Okay, she's just a, a, a hot summer fling. So hence hot girl summer. I don't know, but anyways, with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rokakodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide, and a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you're edified. Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. Lord willing, to the next time. Wah abad babal. Shalom akim.